Hey guys, so I'm with my mate Lewis, he's over here. We're playing tennis. Um, I have this new court, it's like a concrete court. It kind of looks like the Australian Open, but it's not really, it's kind of a scam. They say it is, but I don't really know. What do you think? <laughs> it is? Okay, apparently it is. The same court as Australian Open. Uh, let's get into it. Tennis cam. Lewis and I are having a game now, and we're just struggling to get our serve in, because the amount of double faults is unreal. Alright guys, so we finished having a hit at tennis. We're now going to a cafe um, to cool off and unwind. <laughs> We just finished lunch, I freshened up and got changed and the burger that I had today was a spicy chicken burger and it was delicious. But if you haven't already noticed, there have been some changes to my desk setup. So behind me usually sits my big white desk, but it's been replaced and for the last couple of weeks I've been revamping my desk setup, adding some new gear and I assembled a new desk yesterday. So let me show you what happened. Alright guys, so I've got a few deliveries. I've got this one. This box and this bad boy. Let's unbox them. It's the BenQ screen bar reading lamp. And then these things, they're heavier than I expected. Honestly, they're pretty heavy. So look at that. That's a pretty looking set of speakers. Let's get the other one open. So after spending some time looking for microphones, I ended up deciding on the HyperX Quadcast. Alright, and the boom up. That's it. Ooh. All right guys, so I'm doing a bit of a room clean out because Zen Space Desk kindly sent over one of their standing desks and that will be put here. I also got some new stuff from a company called Grovemate and they sent me some desk accessories. So I'm gonna open up everything and then start assembling. So I've got my trusty little pair of scissors here. Oh, that's nice. I even love the packaging. Headphone stand. This is the desk pad. Ooh, so this is the little pen holder. Oh, that's cool. That's it. It's the desk shelf, which I will have to put together. All right, so it is time to put together the desk because I want this open space to be beautiful. So I have the Zen Space YouTube video just playing in the background to make sure that I'm not completely lost. I really don't want to break this, but there's your, uh, your weight bearing test. So I couldn't be more pleased with how everything turned out and big thanks again to Grove Made and Zen Space Desks for sending me some of their stuff. And if you guys wanted to see all the products that I'm using on my desk, let me know in a comment and I can do an updated 2021 desk setup video. But right now it's about 3.30 in the afternoon and I have an assignment due by the end of tomorrow called Making Decisions in General Practice. I have yet to put anything down on the page, but I know what I have to do and I've read through the requirements. So I'm gonna make a start on that now and I'll talk you through what the report is all about.
So I'm about one hour into the assignment. And what the assignment is, is basically to get us to put ourselves as a medical student in the shoes of a GP and try to imagine what we would do when a patient comes and presents to us. Because every day a GP will have to make countless decisions. They'll have different patients coming in with different presentations. It could be a child with a sore throat. It could be a lady um, coming in for a mental health consult. It could be a general checkup. Whatever it is, the GP has to decide what's the most appropriate test to order. What's the most appropriate drug to give? Should I watch and wait? Should I refer them to a specialist? And some of the time, it's just clinical intuition. They know what's the most appropriate course of action because of their personal experience. Other times, they might not know as well and so they'd have to consult the guidelines. So what this assignment is getting us to do is to choose a patient presentation and figure out what were the decisions that needed to be made and then go off and consult the literature, look at systematic reviews, randomized control trials, um, which will show evidence, strong or weak, uh, to support whatever decision you made. And we also have to look at this in terms of the patient themselves. What was their demographic? What was their social context? And we have to mold the decision that we're making with the literature to this specific patient, depending on their preferences, depending on the context. As a medical student, we still have very limited clinical experience. We're very, very junior. Um, and it will take years to build up the skills of professional judgment and for making decisions using your own clinical intuition and also consulting the evidence in the literature because sometimes we don't always know. But anyways, I've been rambling. I hope that sort of made sense, but I'm gonna get back to the assignment and crack on for another few hours. I'm back at home and we just finished at the cinemas. We were watching a film called Nobody. It's a bit of action, it's a bit of comedy, um, very original stuff, so definitely check it out if you're looking for a movie to watch. But right now, I'm going to do a little bit, a little bit more of my report because um, I still have a lot to go and then I might just kick back, play some video games and I will see you tomorrow. Except for in the future. And before I move on, I wanna quickly talk to you about today's video sponsor, NordVPN. So a VPN, or Virtual Private Network, secures your internet traffic, encrypts it, and ensures that your data and location are private so that you can browse the web anonymously. In a world where we're always online, internet safety is more important than ever. I have multiple devices in the form of a tablet, laptop, and phone, and I'm frequently using public Wi-Fi when I'm studying at a library or at a cafe. So having a VPN gives me the peace of mind knowing that my information and data is secure. With more than 5,400 servers in 59 countries, NordVPN has incredible speeds and is really easy to use. You can connect up to six devices on all the main platforms like Windows, iOS, or Android. And having a VPN also allows you to change your location, which means that you can access access and watch all your favorite TV shows and movies wherever you are. NordVPN is offering 70% off their two year plan plus an additional one month free by simply using the code Sebastian Piri at checkout. Alternatively, you can visit nordvpn.com slash Sebastian Piri or you can just click the link down below. <clears throat> All right guys, so it has been a long time. I've been doing this report for a long time. I think I started at like 11 o'clock and it's now 4.30. So it's taken a lot longer than I expected. It's because I'm just slow with these type of things. I just reread and reread and then change things and then my grammar is all off. So I'm gonna have to fix things, but I'm pretty much finished. And with any reporter assignment, the last thing that I always like to do, and I like to do this even when I'm 
writing it before I even begin, is to look at the marking criteria. Because if there's anything that you want to be getting right, it's to know what the examiners are going to give you marks for. And so as I'm going through, I'm referring to the marking schedule, making sure that I'm hitting all the points on it. And then when I finish it, I want to make sure that have I addressed this certain aspect? Have I addressed this aspect? Did they have something in the marking scheme that I didn't talk about? Because if you didn't talk about it, you're going to get a zero. So just a quick tip for any report, any assignment you're working on, always looking at the marking schema. It's like really, really helpful. So I'm going to submit this to turn it in. And for anyone who's closed down a lot of tabs, especially when you're doing some sort of research assignment, it feels so, so good. So I'm very keen to do that. And then I can get over to other things because this has been the bane of my existence for the past 24 hours. All right guys, so I submitted my assignment before. It is finally submitted, it is done, it is finished. And so I'm doing a workout now, I'm training legs. And tomorrow I'm actually going into the sexual health clinic. So as part of our general practice term, we have to fulfill a certain amount of community sessions. And a community session is anything from visiting an allied health service like a physiotherapist or an occupational um, therapist or going to a pharmacist or going to a drug and alcohol service. So for me, it's going into the sexual health clinic tomorrow morning. And we also have a few sexual health modules that we've been given by the uni to work through because at the end of this term, we'll have a big assessment on GP. And as part of it, I think 10 to 15% of the questions will be about sexual health. So we definitely have to know a little bit about it. And I might have a quick look at some of the lectures um, after this to make sure that I'm not too confused when it comes to tomorrow's session. And then after that, I might just play some video games. And a few of you guys were actually asking in a previous video about what games I have on my computer. And currently I have League of Legends, so Team Fight Tactics, I've been playing a lot of that. I have Rainbow Six Siege and I have Hunt Showdown, which is a game by Crytek. All right, I got another few sets of this workout and then I'll finish up. That's gonna wrap up all the study for tonight and I'm gonna join some friends now for a Sunday night gaming session to end the week. But let me know your thoughts if you prefer this new setup or if you liked my old white desk, I'd love to hear what you guys think. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. And until next time, this is Sebastian, stay sharp.